Yes, means to the Friendly Jimmy's podcast. You know what's weird? At one point, we officially changed the name of this podcast to Jimmy's. <laughs> and at some point, it went back to being Geordie's. I can't remember when it happened. Um, I assume it had something to do with the uh, interest rates. Yes, going yes, up yes. Or down. And John Howard. Okay, goddamn Reserve Bank that. installation of their new president. He really screwed us on this he one. He did. The Lowy Whatever his name is, is, probably is that goblin from uh, Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, like the head of Green Hagrid. Gods. Hagrid. <laughs> Guys, oh, right. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. yeah, You look at them all and they all have that face too. Yeah, they There's do. something about really senior bankers that makes you shriveled up and your teeth extend. <laughs> <laughs> it is a weird trend of like, I feel like you get to a certain, and I am not one of these people that bashes on millionaires people. I think it's cool to be a millionaire. But, you know, when you get to like maybe the billionaires. <laughs> you, hang on. Do you think it's cool to be a millionaire? I bet he doesn't. Yeah, I, I believe the same thing as Mitt Romney's. We're not poor or rich. We are millionaires and would be millionaires. <laughs> Very good point. Is he, is he wrong? He's though? not wrong. No, he's right. Everyone, like, you know, Mitt Romney, he was right. Everyone did become a millionaire. Mitt. Um, Anyways, uh, but nevertheless, it seems like when these like very, very high earning millionaires slash billionaires get to a certain level of income, they just, they're just, it seems like they're just hoarding the money and it's just like, you know, I just suspect that they'd go to Burger King and be like, uh, I'll get double cheese. Okay, that's 50 cents extra. No, just, just, just give me just normal cheese, normal cheese. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> Well, so you think Warren Buffett is sitting there? It's not a great investment. I mean, that slice would probably cost two cents. It's a twenty-five times increase. I reckon. I don't. Know, I don't know anything about Warren Buffett. <laughs> Maybe. But I, I don't know anything about Warren Buffett. But I seriously think he goes to those dollar pizza pla- uh, dollar pizza like slice places in New York. He probably does. Well, he he actually does even worse than that. Apparently, he just lives off cherry coke. Oh, and that's the but worst one. Isn't he like one. almost hundred like, years disgusting. old? Yeah. First of all, cherry coke. I'm not. It's not. That's not even a health thing. It's like, why choose the worst fucking flavor? <laughs> it's <laughs> so <laughs> bad. Now Ali's triggered. Now I'm triggered. <laughs> no, Fuck dude. The fish, cherry coke. We need a war against that. Yeah, vanilla or bust. <laughs> war vanilla on or flavor. Bust. Vanilla or bust. Yeah. Vanilla or bust. This guy knows what's up. You agree with that? And that reminds that? me. Do you yeah, agree? I don't know. No. I still think that the big challenge of our age is not the difference between Pepsi and Coke. It was what is the difference between Coke lemon and Coke lime? Mm. There was a Did difference. Did it have a flavor? There was a difference. There were there were two separate Cokes called Coke lemon and Coke lime. There were subtle yeah. differences, exactly like lemon and lime. There were different. Look, I, I'm going to play devil's advocate and say I could taste a difference, but who knows? I, I but if anybody bullshit. could, it would be you. <laughs> mm. And I'm pretty sure that you mm. were sitting there in some lab. That was probably one of your odd jobs in that four years I didn't talk to you. In, in a cage next to a bunch of other chimps. Yeah. Getting injected yeah. with flavors. Yeah. Ooh, sour. I didn't say stop. Is it too sour? No <laughs> such thing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> ah, uh, Tabasco sauce is getting chubbed up my ass. Must be Tuesday. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I, I laid out the rules for me working here and you haven't complied, so. It is ju- what? Your Tabasco enemas. <laughs> it is Tuesday. Tabasco. And we need to, let's take a few calls. Yeah. We want to take your opinion on, first of all. A very Australian-centric issue. Yeah, well, dude, today is the election day. So this is the election stream. Um, tell us, who do you think is going to win? Yeah, us Australians Why? know in advance who's going to win the yeah, America. Because we're that's ahead how of time. time zone works. We're, we're ahead right. of time. Yes, Ali, very um, good. And, <laughs> you f- and tell us why. Lord gravity once again. <laughs> tell us if you want that person to win, who you think is going to win, why they're going to win, or why they should win. Oh, shit. Before, actually, Obviously, as always, stoners from Melbourne with long hair will be prioritized on the call line. Preferred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You just reminded me too, I need to do this because I occasionally get hounded by people. Just two, just little two little tidbits. One is- Jordan, this is not related. It'll be one second, Ollie. Uh, a fella, some dude said, uh, today Gladstone went from being a liberal shit pit to being a labor stronghold. It's a beef town in Queensland. So, No, I'm well aware of Gladstone. I've had I, my beefs. Oh, with cool. Gladstone <laughs> well, past. some dude called not you know what? Franco Cozzo. <laughs> so that deserves a single clap. And also- <laughs> Yeah, there's an inner point, Matt. There is more. And this will tie in- Oh Christ! I don't know where it is, but it, it, this is just 
There's a, there's a young man called Brad who uh, likes smoking weed. He's a nice guy. And he was just spamming with this stuff being like, this is why Trump should win. And I was like, I don't have time to read all this. And that's the, that's the point, really. <laughs> Shout out, well, Brad. Brad. I will read it one day. Call us if you're a patron. Actually, yeah, call, dude. Brad, call in, man. Well, yeah, we ideally want to get like a variety of opinions. So if you support uh, Trump, that's pretty cool. I'm sure we're going to find people that support Biden. Yeah, of course. But um, like, uh, yeah, I guess that's what I'm getting at. Brad, if you're listening, which you Ali might be. Ali wants to in. secretly get what he is at heart, which is one of those Carl Kalinske types. Personally, I don't care who wins. You're both bad. Yeah, I'm a progressive. Yeah, uh, yeah, the Democratic right. Party has no, lost no. its way. Progressivism is the way to go. Hey, by the way. This no, uh, starting his own channel. You should change your name from Hawaiian shirt, like uh, from uh, Holsworthy Live to like the rational Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> no, the Young Packs. <laughs> The young backs. <laughs> All great ideas. Uh, <sighs> slightly better than my dating game show ideas. <laughs> yeah, only slightly. Secular bloviating. Hey, no, the- no. <laughs> the, uh, the- theocratic, theocratic talk. No, no, that's the worst one. Naming yourself after some uh, they, philosopher. Yeah, no, don't. No, that's it's, always it's yeah, just like, that is uh, the worst. No, one. no, no. It's it's that's not a philosopher. That's like uh, the opposite of secular. So like Iran is a theocratic society. Like, is it? Yeah, like when your when your society is like uh, religion is entrenched into your political system. Uh, it's a theocracy. So a lot, of the, lot of the word you should be like that. Anyways, the Makes joke didn't work on you guys clearly. No, I'm just saying. Matt, a lot of the if word. you're listening, can we can we get a can we get a call, please? Absolutely, we can. Hey, I didn't know that that could happen. Hey, yeah, I didn't know Matt had a voice. He does. I thought that he was a computer program. PewDiePie's recorded computer program. To my house, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought my, it was a simulation. No, 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 no. I thought we got the Oculus for, <laughs> <laughs> right, so we could interact. Hello, is Mr. Caller there or Miss? Is Rush answering or is hey, are we? It's a dude. Hi, it's a, it always is. Ah, too too many dudes. Why can't we well, get I'll better be representation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, you're 100% right about uh, that. What, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Justin, and I'm from Melbourne, but I'm not stoned, unfortunately, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> get rid of him. Get rid of him. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, wait, 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 wait. He could just be a giant joint that hasn't lit his own head yeah, up. Yeah, he yet. sounds, like, sounds what? like it. He, like, I can smell him. <laughs> his yeah. name's Justin. What, 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 are you, what are you studying, Justin? It's <laughs> uh, dope. Ah, no, nah, they're usually pretty Spe- straight laced, aren't they? Does that mean you get high and do uh, video editing? No, it's no, just, I get, I can't get high. Yeah, <laughs> I work for a drug test. So. Shit. Well, yeah, exactly. No, but I, I guess he, now we wait, know you're going to support Trump. Wait, I have a question. Do you call them uh, scallops or like potato weird shit? Whatever you guys say. Large potato hold on, hold on. gems. Let, let him I answer. Have, I, we, I call it potato cakes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Say, uh, potato scallops. Or, you you say potato cakes? Melbourne, you make fun of them. So you pay potato scallops. You say s- cakes. Yeah, we say cakes. That's yeah. why I can never ah, live there. Can we turn down this up a no, little? Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's why I can never live there, dude. Uh, that's too much. I'm just going to butt in quickly. Just, uh, I just need to get one of you guys to put me back on the computer. I need to turn up the distance. <laughs> Apparently it's super quiet and no one in chat can hear. Oh. oh this is awesome. I really like this. This is kind of like in a play if uh, the techie just turned off a light and put it somewhere else and said, sorry about that, everyone. Just uh, yeah. pretend that that never happened. Like in Hamlet <laughs> or something. On. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. It's like breaking the fourth wall. What is? Someone being like, um, just mill around on your own while we fix this purple light. Well, let's be honest. Both in reality and in this metaphor, PewDiePie is our deus ex machina. He has just saved us out of every single scenario. That's true. It's so true. Thank you for the love of uh, scallops on Twitch. I'm not having this potato. You know, I'm about not this. having this scallops. You- oh, I mean, look, you guys, mean? it's the Palmy versus Palmer debate. Yeah, and it's and it's Palmy. Palmer? <laughs> just an it. Huh? It's Palmy. Palmy just sounds so like... What do you know. say? No, it sounds like, like the Palmer. first word a you baby say would say. So you go into a fucking RSL and say, G'day, mate. I'll have a Palmer and a potato cake, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they're going to kick you out. They'll legit think you're retarded. Potato cakes. 
But yes, we say, yeah, I'll get a Palmer. Oh, for Palmy fuck's just sake. sounds so like. Palmy? That's a name. This, like, this is I the I'm going to go order a Palmy. Yeah. It's like. He's yeah, got that's a normal. good retort. What, you can't retort? just put a stupid like, voice on something. Yeah, see? There we go. Yeah, that's manly. Well, I didn't exactly. know. I didn't know you were an IT man slash character actor. But look, I oh, you know, mate. <laughs> I mean, look, I was going to come in here and start doing like a Gary Osmond's impression, but then I realized. Gar- that, like, Gar- well, you're going to have to do that now, Justin. Gary, who? <laughs> he said Hello, that- Jordan. How are you tonight? <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> oh shit, that's him. Why does he sound like Hal from 2000? What a space odyssey has a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm blocking my nose. I oh, wasn't too bad. bad. <laughs> so, yeah, that works. That wasn't too bad, man. That wasn't too bad. Thank you. I appreciate that, Miss Lovely. <laughs> but anyway, I it's could- really obvious great, great Rob talent. IT, though. It did sound like a robot. I just- yeah. great, uh, great. You know, we are all robots deep down. Um. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, what, Justin, can we- can Turn we, your mic down as sorry. well. Jesus. Old sensitive ears over here. We're not talking about fish maybe, anymore. Maybe your fucking thing is loud. Maybe you're, yeah. Oh, that's probably, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, anyways. Well, uh, thank you for turning me off entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Um, yep. your face. Who do you, who's, who's winning the elections and why? And who do you, who are you going for? Um, Talk to us. I think it's, I actually think it's Trump in a weird way. Like, I Shit. think he's going to win. Because really? it just feels like 2016 all over again where it the entire media is against him. Everyone kind of like is like, no, 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 it's going to be Biden. Um, awesome. And I don't know. It just feels like that's going to happen. And then, who do I actually want to win? I like. I have no stake in it because at the end of the day, we're going to have as Australians, we're going to have to probably kiss the ring, as Jordan once said, of like whoever the fucks in the states. Mm. Yeah, so that's true. it's not. We it's, are slaves. Uh, it, but- it, it's literally just you know. Okay, this one is slightly more like I don't know oil centric and like going to destroy the planet, and this one's more banks, and exactly. I don't like either of those. Yeah. So. Um, Dude, okay, here's the question. What is the reason? Why is our audience actually Aussie smart? Carl Kalinske here. Yeah, here's guy, the question, like, though. He <laughs> what about the meme factor? Who's got more meme factor? Because that's what I'm... Oh, Trump, the big issues. absolutely. Trump is the meme factor. Like, if you... Yeah. Like, if I'm honest, Trump is just going to, like, potentially bring apart, like, their country, or it's just going to be, like, uh, the troubles to American bugaloo. Like, it's just going to be, like... Massive mm. like infighting and protests and all this shit oh, that's yeah. currently happening and It'll it's just keep going and going until eventually it probably escalates into like Civil. as I was saying, like the troubles between like what was it, North North Island and mm. Island and all that shit. Like like we we're talking about it in the Discord today and it was very much just like I think it's just gonna be like that. Like yeah. if right. Trump wins. If Biden wins, you might get a little bit of like calmness, but even then like like Trump's party will contest the thing. There'll be some other shit going on. It, like it's gonna. Be, I was. Yeah. I was listening to the. Did any of you listen to the Joe Rogan Alex Jones podcast recently? Like the one that was like last week. Yes. So Wait, are you did. talking to us, Justin? Why, of course we. Why did. would you ask yes. every big question? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, boys. You know you're busy, and I'm like, oh, maybe you don't listen. No. Not yeah, enough. But like, for that. Um, yeah. Just understand like, this: you know we're how- not your mum. Like we oh, are well. young men. I think every young man on planet Earth that can speak English and probably uh, even like ones point, that speak point, Hindi are probably sitting there being like, hey, well, I, I can have, get I have a couple said, of words. I have asked people, have you, do you listen to Joe Rogan? I have said no. So, you know, I had to, I have to ask. That's Guys right. your but age? Like, the way, the way like what I was getting at was Alex Jones being like 79 days of hell, you yeah. know, like following yeah. if like Trump wins because the, like it's the true. Dems will contest it, and then um, I think they'll were, call in yeah. the UN. That seems like outlandish as hell, but it's like I can understand this seventy-nine days of hell, where like I think if either party wins, it's there's gonna just going to be fucking protests. There I will think the be. Trump one will be less, but then I, I don't know. Nah, I, th- I think I think like the, the the protests will be great on either side. It'll be entertaining, oh, yeah. including yeah, like, Trump. If if Trump loses. Um, there'll be, in fact, we're, we're headed for, uh, four years of like high levels of animosity either way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, How are you like, so sure? You wouldn't want to go in. Yeah, like, because it's just I have seen intentions Trump supporters. <laughs> intentions. No, but I mean, it's not just Trump supporters though. It's just anyone in that, like, I guess like American, like Antifa far left thing that you see like online. Like, yeah, it's just, it just seems yeah. very, this guy's a legend. Like, I don't know. It just seems very weird. Well, okay, um, I, I, sorry, like, continue. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Like, that's that's pretty much. I, I do agree with you. There will be animosity for the next like four years. I like like even longer than that. I just can't see American relations like 
joining up again. Damn. Like it's the end it's, of the empire. It might be. It really might. It seems that way, doesn't it? And I but blame the, the internet. Is, is like they need to keep the union to like to like I, to like, function. I think they'll do every functional. Like they'll do everything in their power to make sure the union's functional. But I don't know if like you'll have the people within the country, like you know, really like meshing. There's like no sense of common good in that country anymore. Totally. Like, there's yeah. no. That's a, there's no single ideal. Like everyone's trying to achieve. There's no unity. A better America, and but the way it is is like they all think of different ways to achieve the better America. I don't know. It's 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 a complicated situation there. There probably will be animosity. There will be riots anyway, and. Like, what happened back when the George Floyd protests happened? Like, there'll be memes, and there'll literally be live streams of people, like, like just riding and shit. Because, like, me and my mates found this one Twitch stream that had, like, 10K views or something. And the dude was just pulling live streams from, like, all the protests and riots and stuff around America. Logan and, Paul. Like, you're literally going to go through almost, like, like, another riot or potentially, like, a troubling sort of period where it's all going to be fucking documented. There's all going to be videos and shit. It's just going to be mental. Hey, and will be left I am worried for tomorrow, off. regardless of the outcome. But I don't know. I think, like, as Australians, we're kind of separated enough that we might just be, like, all right at the end of the day. Mm. We're District 52. Good take. Good it take. matters to us. But, hey, yeah, that's a that's a really good assessment. Thank you, Justin. You're a bright young man. You're a bright young I, man. I agree and with thank all you for calling that. in. Yeah. Now, let's I get someone stupid. I appreciate <laughs> Oh, sorry. I appreciate that, boys. I've been a big fan for a while. I think I've been listening for far too long, and I, I can't wait to see you guys when you come down for a show again. Thanks, man. I, I'm keen to uh, have a seltzer water with you. <laughs> I'd like that too, Miss Loth. And I'll get you a palmer, not a palmy. I'll get you a palmer and some oh, potato skulls. What a sweet you know, young okay, man. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Palmer. No. Oh, I'll eat it begrudgingly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> No, nah, it sounds good, dude. You're a legend. Thanks for calling right. me, Justin. Catch you, lads. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks heaps, dude. Thanks for listening. No worries. Bye. Bye. See ya. What a but, bright young right. man. Yeah, that's like do you a- guys want to take another caller? Yes, let's do it, man. Yeah, let's do it. Wonderful. How's Breezy Dog? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Standard answer. <laughs> when is it not? <laughs> Have uh, God's, God's, God's the sunshine state, huh? God's uh, country. The new call is also muted. Hey. Unmute Mac, everybody. Hmm? Uh, I think he's talking to him. No, no, I'm good, mate. <laughs> What's that? Gary hell? Awesome. That is awesome. What's your name, hey, mate? Where y- are you trucky? Hey, yeah, name's Dazzle. Hey, how you going, mate? Right? Uh, he's, <laughs> he's putting it on. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> that is an absolute fact. Good on you, guys. Finally, yeah. one of the real people. None of these IT <laughs> fucks. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I fucking hate to be one of those IT Dude, I bet you it's just fight. Justin again. <laughs> 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 no, I think this is the guy that called last time that was from the South, remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. yeah, 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 South of Burke, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, oh, right. Shit. So that's what we, we got the accents mixed up there. Then where's Burke? Your Burke? Back of Burke, South back of Burke. I know. think that's the whole thing. No one knows where it is. Jesus. People in Burke just live in the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> GPS just shuts off over there. <laughs> you just see question marks in the Burke. sky. <laughs> Campbell Newman is the sun for no reason. <laughs> So what's your predictions, young? Wait, okay. Yeah, so what, what, what is your name? Oh, Gaz? Was it Gaz? Mate, I'm, I'm Gary. Mate. Gaz. It's going to be an outright tragedy if Trump loses. I'm just, I'm going to be <sighs> flipping out over here. Back of Burke, you know. Damn. Finally. The world's going to go to the shitter. Eh? <laughs> See, and this is why he's going to win, because he's struck a chord with all the blue collar types. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, 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 tell, you what, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, mate. I'll tell you what, mate. I'll tell you what, mate. Hey, 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 I'll tell you what, though. Yeah, you um, pay some respect, yeah, Ali. He corrupt. <laughs> so this emails were pretty insane. By the way, I have something to <laughs> talk about. And this guy's going to give us the inside scoop about that. Well, no, t- yeah. tell us for real why uh, I understand that it's going to be a travesty, but who do you think is going to win and um, why should they win? You know, who, who I think is going to win and why should they yeah, win? Yeah, like based so on your analysis, you know, what do you uh, think? On my, on my clearly highly educated analysis. Yeah, that's right. Really. <laughs> Calling from Burke. Well, you've got a degree in the <laughs> University of Life mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and a that, PhD no, no. in got a punching got on anomics. <laughs> I signed on to Phoenix University online. I got a degree in a couple of days. Pretty good, eh? Bloody <laughs> oath. Well, that's how he does it. Well, you bloody idiots going to Sydney Uni and you... What, what are some other esteemed universities? Money, Sunshine party. Coast. You do Western Sydney. <laughs> oh, dude, I bet you. Sunshine. PewDiePie just heard that last comment. It was like, I graduated from there. <laughs> yeah, like, 
like <laughs> Brisbane University Tech. West, West Sydney. Uh, um, yeah, you were probably this guy probably is a lecturer at Western Sydney Uni. Let's be honest, <laughs> probably the dean. Uh, <laughs> too, too classy for me that establishment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> university. Now this is a guy that uses the word palmy for sure. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you got you got me on a pub. You got chicken palmy on. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, young. Is that just? A, I didn't know that was a Victorian. And actually, Wales probably thing. like this yeah. guy's actually more of a pussy than I thought. He was like, yeah, veal. The more the animal shaffish, the better, right? That's right. But then, but then no, the veal cost too much. We're I'm only in the real world, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. yeah. None, none of us thirteen dollars schnitzels. And then the veal conundrum is, yeah, it's also very ethnic. Fuck, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, Miss Love's onto it. You yeah. know, I always pictured you more as like su- Sunny Dilly Share, but you've got some good points there, Miss Love. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one guy who uh, thinks Trump's going to win, it makes sense that he thinks I'm all right. <laughs> good on you guys. Keep on trucking, mate. So that's your any prediction. Time, any bloody time. Love your works, guys. Keep yeah. it up. Well, you, yeah, you well that's great because that's, fight. look, the older we get, the more of those calls there's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> also, have you noticed we've never gotten like, a woman call us? Like, How surprising. Maybe it's a Discord thing. Maybe just women don't fuck yeah, with that's Discord. It. Discord. Yeah, that's yeah. the reason, sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, thanks. It couldn't possibly be that you've just been catfished your entire life. Right. And- <laughs> Your girlfriend just has a boob job. It's been gassed the whole time. <laughs> no, it's that transsexual you dated from the beginning. Do 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 do. Anyway, guys, keep them honest and uh, keep picking wheat or whatever you do. No, no, he transports wheat. the wheat. Oh yeah, keep driving that wheat around. Yeah, <laughs> get it around, get it around. Weaklings, so I drive it. You know, yeah. trucking life. Hell yeah. If it wasn't for you, you wouldn't even have wheat beaks in the morning. All right, yeah. so everybody praise this legend. Yeah. Learn some respect there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> nice, healthy wheat beaks. <sighs> Oi, uh, pudes. Yo, what's the chime? What? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you- it's 8.30. Oh, wait, we've got four bidders. we got one more call. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Let's do- Mr. Adamant on cutting the callers' time. This could be a long segment. We've got a couple more callers in the waiting room. Yeah. All right, let's send them just- through. No, no, you got one minute each. You get to introduce <laughs> yourself, your no, favorite no, no, color, no. then you're out. <laughs> nah, I'm overriding this. We'll give you half an hour each. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Miss Love's minute. True. So that's true. All right, we'll send, send, send the next one. Next one in? All right. Here we go. Next I'm door. sick of you. It's almost like you have the same concept as uh, uncontacted tribes of time. <laughs> like you just have none. None at all. That's true. <laughs> I know. I know I don't. Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, yes, but he's muted. Dude, what is up with this mute? Next caller. Next caller. Do you snooze, you lose. Hey, boys. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, not bad. How's Name, it going? destination. Yeah. Jensen from Northern Beaches. Oh, that's oh. always the best sound on earth. Yeah, a yeah, phone yeah. rubbing up against pants. <laughs> what suburb? What suburb? <laughs> Freshy? Are you, are, you, are you masturbating? Mona manly, vale? actually. Oh, manly. So, yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah, well, it's yeah. all right. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you live in Miss Love's Hood, kind of. Yeah, it's really nice. It's yeah, just true, non-tourist true, Bondi. True, There's nothing true. wrong with manly. Yeah. Just, no, but yeah. you know, and you know what else, mate? You live near Michael West. You might even see him. Damn, I didn't know and that. And you really? live near- Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's more celebs okay. that live there than um, a Dino from Big Brother. Can I? Can I? Can I? <laughs> hey, can I sum up? Can I sum up? You know what? I think he probably does live there, and you know it. No, I do know that. I know that for a fact. <laughs> can I sum up Manly in a sentence for you? I saw do? him there once, and I was starstruck. <laughs> and he was and been on Big Brother for years. You should be ashamed that you know that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, strangely, I'm not. Dino can from I, Big Brother. That's fucked. Can I sum up Manly it's in a sentence? Probably is Dino. What? Can I sum up Manly in a sentence? Can I sum up? Yeah. Manly, uh, Manly, just enough Mary Vale v- venues to make you feel not that uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Every second place now is like, yeah, Justin Hamish bought that fucking wharf too. Man. Yeah. Hey, Manly, yeah. a female Eurasian serving you fish and chips, guaranteed. Yeah, and also <laughs> Manly. I hope you like fobs. <laughs> is there? Is there heaps there? No, there's, there's not. quite a bit of fobs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a shit ton down here. Yeah, no, is- Miss Love sees one Asian. He's just caught in the 60s. Miss and he's just like, like, what the hell? Miss Love is one more description away from cancelling himself. Yeah, fair, fair. Well, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying there's a lot there. <laughs> Jesus, Manly, settle down. Love it or leave it. Manly, gay people everywhere. Manly is an actual Long shabu, man. Yeah. Anyways. Who's Sorry, your- yeah, who, who are you? <laughs> Manly. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win and uh, why? 
Trump. It better be Trump. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell us why. I think I'm going to change my yeah. mind. Everyone's been to Trump. I've had four years of good memes, good, <laughs> like, semi-decent comedy shit. So I want another four years of that. Such a manly answer. Die for the lols. Yeah, yeah it is. That's so North Shore. It's a very North Shore answer, my friend. He's not wrong. Like, who the fuck cares in the end who gets in? But as long as all this good co- uh, content comes out... Yeah, it's true. Who cares? But, dude, do you agree that Biden has a meme factor? He does, but not as good as Trump. Hmm. Yeah, Trump I mean, he's right. Point. To the key. Yeah. Interesting. Because I don't know if I agree. No, you're trying but to don't you think that it's nice Grandpa that you can... Simpson and everything. But... That's sick. <laughs> I... Yeah, look, now <laughs> I'm so confused. I think you're... Look, I really hope Biden wins and everything, but I think you're, like, forcing this, like, come on, Biden's kind of cool thing a little too much now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with... Try to make him cool. It's like, like we're on, at the finish line. You've got to give him one yeah, more push. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, yeah. Look, I'm with the Jordan yeah, in this. It's like, come on. He's funny. While Meanwhile, Biden's just, like, kind of half sleeping, half awake. Yes. Which is funny. It is funny. <laughs> he's running for president. He's not decent. <laughs> <laughs> look, uh, look. Okay, well, dude. You know what? But why do you think Trump is funny? What's the point? Like, because I know why Colbert comedian. thinks it's like, he, he's here. He's an actor. He knows no, how to uh, make people laugh. Yeah, he's a stand-up comedian. He's a stand-up yeah, he's comedian. A stand-up. And you know what is amazing yeah. as well? An impromptu stand-up comedian. I swear, yeah. when he did that point about he went a bench stretch. <laughs> That bit was better than everything Seinfeld did. It is at his peak because in the nineties. It was just a bit, and he was yeah. just off the top of his head. He's like bomb funk MC of stand up comedians. Just as free straight off the top of his f- dome while he rocks, it's rocks, just, rocks, 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 rocks. This rocks is the microphone. genius. He like pays out those new straws, which should be paid out because they always go fucking. They start <laughs> dissolving in your drink, and that's <laughs> enough. And that is how he pitching why like Damn, climate change. Trump trait. talking to the schmo. Yeah, <laughs> he'll pro <laughs> that. Look at his schmo. After Such a schmo, Ali. Yeah, fuck, fuck the planet. Like, those straws are shitty. I don't care about uh, climate change anymore. If you were in America, how much would you eat at Denny's? Every lunch? Yeah. Every lunch. Just for the free refill. Oh. Yeah, the regular. It sounds good, to be honest. Hey, what do you, <laughs> hey, what do, you do What do you do for work? I was a... Mambo. I sent a travel agent, so nothing now. Oh, Mad. shit. Dude, that how job. is that going? Yeah. By the way, like, um, whenever I look at travel agencies now, there's always three people sitting there. What are they doing? Yeah. Um, they're the waiting. skeleton crew. Because they, cl- they closed down, like, the other five stores in that area. Whoopa. So there's yeah. now just one store there with three people in it. It's fucked. But there's, like, but they there's don't do anything. But there's no air travel, like there. You can't yeah, but be honest, country. as a travel agent, you never did anything anyway. <laughs> you went on Skyscanner. Oh, no, no, you just, no, you just, God. you are the Venus fly traps of stores, <laughs> just, dude. So you had two, you had two tabs open on your computer: Skyscanner and I know the pilot. <laughs> Don't lie. Uh, Actually, I have yeah. a question. When you worked at that travel agency. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a genuine question. Uh, when you worked at that, wait, yeah. what travel agency was it? Is it the the famous one that flight the, center? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to take it, but it, oh, did sorry, you work sorry. for them? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, or, I did. Yeah, okay. I was flight center. Was there so I was, was there a school. lot of cocaine usage over there? <laughs> What's up with these news stories that Fucking I was hearing? Hell yes. Whoa! Yes. Apparently, it was a thing. So much. I didn't know that. Like a flight center yeah, my, uh, was like crazy from the inside. They were like I having joined, sex. The manager got fired. Cool. Damn. Damn. Okay. That's amazing. So that was legit. We got some serious insight. And they have a retreat to LA every single year. And yeah, that's just a drug fest, apparently. I wasn't invited because not 21, but. Damn, they Really? I wish. How old are you? How old are you then? I thought you were like 70. 20. 20? Jesus, you're (laughs) young. Christ, you're young. I mean, no that, wonder he loves memes. Delphine yeah, and young. loves Trump. He Bell doesn't Delphine. know what a good president yeah, right. is. Gen Z, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Well, yeah, look. Gen Z knows what's up. Gen Z, yeah. They're, are all on of that them note, on that less note, less PC. Is that a, is that a safe thing to say that Gen Z? Well, look, he wants a president elected because of memes. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think on that note, we should. Say our goodbyes because I don't like to uh, take anyone's opinion seriously that is 20 years old. So, uh. <laughs> one thing, one thing, Miss Love, you told me to mention in the comments of your last vids to um, shout out for every single pedal you used. Okay, you want me to go through all my pedals yes, now? Yes, go on. I'll just roll them off. <laughs> this is no one wants no, to hear this. Didn't dude. Say stop. Uh, on the song, you know what's really sad? They do. Yeah. <laughs> on the song, you want to know what I used? Yes. It was like a chorus pedal. Uh, I put I put compression on nearly everything, so like a Dynacomp 
and a and some fuzz pedal. I actually don't even remember which one, man. So basically, compression, Come on. chorus. It was probably a. He feels robbed. Okay, dude. It was this. It was this. Full I tone. Do. It was, I do. Okay, I dude. Am it was. It was most likely. It was. It was, it was most likely a uh, full tone ultimate octave. Does that work for you? Okay. Yeah. Do you play you guitar? Told me to mention it. I don't know a jack shit about pedals. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I'm glad I could. Uh, I'm glad I can enlighten you. Actually, no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you're a legend. Yeah, but, no um, worries. No worries. Keep on memeing and keep on rocking in the free world. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. See you, dude. See ya. <laughs> Bye, dude. <laughs> See, that was all right. Also, according to like this, <laughs> well, that was this very really strange ending to cool. that call, but I liked it. Yeah. According to this, that guy was all right. A very small sample of people. It seems that Trump is winning. Shit, everyone's in it. Into oh him. God, well, we got another caller, Maddie. Yeah, if you guys want to take another caller, yeah. Okay, yeah. Last hey, Matt, one, Matt, last Matt, 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 Matt. Yeah. Just quickly, who do you think is going to win? I think Trump. Wait, is does does stealing an election count as winning? Oh no! What Here we go. Mean? Of course he's going to. Well, say of course that. you're going to say that. The Vice <laughs> News. Of- <laughs> what do you what mean even stealing? is stealing? If what he you, does it, isn't he just smashed? Well, do you mean like electoral guys, college uh, vice uh, stealing, or just like straight up like yeah. stealing it? I think that they're going to find some finagle some legal loophole to keep him in. He does have the Supreme Court. Right. They may as well not have the election at this Shit. point. If it's six to three, so you're just not talking about it witted save body. So Matt, you're not talking about the electoral college thing. You're talking about a legitimate like loophole, like a legitimate I'm, I'm talking the, I'm thinking there if if he gets in it'll be some kind of Supreme Court loophole or I know that there is a loophole to do with if states can't count all of the ballots on by a certain date, then their state legislators can choose who wins that state or something what? like that. What? Okay, shit. Did you know that, Jordan? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Look, I'm I'm yeah. no uh, I'm no U.S. politics head, so I, I think you are. No, I think you are. Well, I think expert. he had the best answer so far out of everyone else. <laughs> yeah. It was like, well, I just feel that Trump should win because like he's uh, he's got more erect posture, you know, like and, his, uh, his face is redder. Two of my yeah. favorite people are Pepe and Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Well, I like Matt, the that's fact that Trump can stay awake. <laughs> I'll pop in another caller, but just quickly, and I hope that Jordan also uh, remembers this. But if out in the chat, if anyone here is Dunks, if Dunks is here, oh, your boy we, Dunks, I know him. We need to get your boy Dunks back on the show. Yeah, we do. He's, he's, he's a great that? man. Is he your cousin, oh, or something? Dude, I've met him. I mean, he's just Aussie Dalai Lama. You can't hate Dunks. What's who is it? Who's the Dalai Lama? Both. Who's Dunks though? Yeah. Right. Well, look. Actually, I'm pretty. Sh- you might be the reincarnation of him. I mean, look at this year. But <laughs> but I'm talking about Dunks. Bully. <laughs> <laughs> Bully. Hey, well, it, well, it's just been. How long has it been? Yeah, it was about time. Fuck. I feel late. <laughs> <laughs> look, the there, only thing this love is on, on time for. Next week. In the meantime, I'll pop another caller. Yes. Yes. Good and, on you, man. It has to be the last one, unless Dunks is here. For sure. Who is Dunks? One All right. Last caller is here. Is it Dunks? Was that all a setup? Was it? <laughs> hey, who's, who's this? I wish. Hey, it's um, Dunks. Jesse. 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 I'm the one stoner with long hair from Melbourne that actually called in. Thank uh, God. Yes. yes. Underrepresented. Right, I was getting worried here. <laughs> yeah. What an underrepresented. What's with all these people that have their lives together? I'm sick of it. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> They're, they're I, I, I kind of feel bad because I think I'm going to go with the stereotype, and I, I think Biden will should win at least. I don't know if he will. I'm a bit worried, like Matt, about Trump stealing shit. Why are you? Why is everyone so pessimistic <laughs> I know, about I this? I don't get it. Everyone, are you also? Do you also think like even if he loses, he's just you know I'm I'm not going. I'm going to stay in this White House. I don't care what you guys say. It could I, happen. I, no. I feel like he'll do something, and if, even if he doesn't, he'll still be talking shit. Like even if he's leaving, he'll be tweeting shit and getting people riled up. Yeah, there he already will. People going to try and kidnap governors right like now. In, that was like a week or two ago. Oh, shit. They tried to kidnap a governor. And then... Uh, well, who tried to wait, kidnap the governor? To, and what, what state? What governor? See, this is um, why you probably Michigan, shouldn't get politics from Stoney's with long hair. It was like a, a militia, well, like a terrorist or like group, tried to fucking kidnap the the governor and they were going to, oh, I don't shit. know, try and, try and start a yeah. civil war, I think, was their plan. Dang. 
Dude, this is the thing. Like once America is a really that was strange the governor country. Of Michigan. That's very intense. What? They're so rich, yeah. but they it have these Michigan, like yeah. uh, African para- paramilitary groups yeah. running around. Yeah, it's strange. I, I know get the that. Congo's reason for that. Yeah, <laughs> but I just don't understand where you could go Congo there and beats. you have Wendy's and you're that pissed off. Do you know why? Yeah. Well, there's two reasons why they actually uh, they actually have that like militia and gun mentality. Number one, uh, kill um, Those Native seekers. Americans. Number two, kill Mexicans because Mexicans can't like that's how they have like fucking California and shit. They just have the guns. What? <laughs> You're like, bringing up more conspiracy theories what than the, the long haired guy from Melbourne. Like, that's not your why, expertise. Why, why do you think? Why do you think America has a gun yes. culture? Second Amendment, dude. They just but like. Why guns. do you think Second Amendment exists? Yeah, Why do not, they need it? But Why they're they're not they the same? Ali, the Second Amendment doesn't exist. Don't make up stories. Oh, yeah, true. They're, they're just... Uh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I forgot about that one. You meant to fact the Second Amendment exists to hunt Mexicans. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was. Well, there was a Spanish at the time. Um, what is actually the... the Civil the, War too, right? <clears throat> what, what's your name again, dude? Jesse. 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 Listen to me, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Say it back, dude. Say what Jesse would say, say it. Say what Jesse would – you've watched Breaking Bad, Jess? Yeah, bitch. Say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, bitch. <laughs> I'm listening, bitch. Um, yeah, what's the – what conspiracy theories do you believe in? JFK? Oh. Uh, All well, of them? I reckon JFK was uh, killed by one of the Secret Service agents. Basically, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald shot at him but missed. One of the Secret Service agents stumbles. Finish the job. Shoots, shoots JFK in the front of the head, yeah. which is why all the why all the bullet ballistics are off. And then that's where the cover up comes from. They're just like, "Fuck!" Someone tried to assassinate him anyway. Let's just blame that dude. See, guys, isn't this a better podcast? I'm telling you, it, listening to guys with long hair yeah. talking about conspiracy. Uh, that's only, what we need. You only I'm, get this I'm, knowledge from Bong. That's the best. That's I'm the very really happy. Explains everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Think I'm, about it, man. I'm very <laughs> happy right now. You're a legend. <laughs> yeah, look. I mean, I th- yeah. I think it was Come on. Is there anything more extreme than that? What about aliens? Do you think you've seen one or is it? Is oh, no. It- <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He doesn't do DMT. Yeah, well, he, he doesn't, doesn't do DMT. But is there any other conspiracy? What's the most far out one that you believe in? Is that it? Do you, what about moon landing? Let's go through the classics. Does moon the moon landing. Exist? Oh, fuck. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm one of those ones. That's, I'm a bit of a skeptic for all that shit. I, the, my biggest conspiracy is just the fucking, the media, the Murdoch. Well, not just them, but everyone. Like, how the fuck do they all have the same thing without question? Have same opinion without questioning it? That's not even. A, yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like, not like, even. That's these guys put crazy. together. Like, but at a set, like, just. <laughs> They can't all be fucking that shit at their jobs. Mm. Oh, I, they are. No, they I are. used to always think that as well, but they're kind of captured. But they're not. They're yeah. just shit cunts. No, they, they actually are just really bad at their job. <laughs> and that's, that's the reason that they have it in the first place, yeah, because if they're bad were, at their job, you, you, they're easy to control. And you wouldn't have a if job you, if you were good. If you were good. Well, that's what happened good, to Michael but, like, West. Just a different, yeah. It's the whole mm. scary thing of like reality is scarier than fiction, isn't it? Because it's like the moon. Do you know what the actual <laughs> reality of everything is? Everyone's just a lot dumber than everyone imagines. Yeah. So most things kind of – well, usually what happens, say with the propaganda model, geniuses like uh, Edward Bernays and um, Lippmann Plies. set it up. Plies was definitely <laughs> integral to the propaganda model. <laughs> Yo, man. But why I else does everybody cocaine. like cocaine. No, he's the one that likes thick ass. I mean, that's the reason that it's on our flag. You think that just came out of nowhere? Thick, thick, <laughs> Dude, that is a thick ass too, yeah. Not really. This part looks fucking thin ass. <laughs> it's no. thick and old. The Not good pieces. enough for Miss Love. Yeah, Not yeah. good enough for Miss Love. Um, all right. Wait, well, I like this guy. I did, I did actually think of another conspiracy theory that I actually have been wanting you guys to, like, someone to weigh in on. Please. Weigh please. in on. Uh, all right. So, fine. This guy knows so our language. You know the Russians had that uh, COVID vaccine? Yes. Yeah. Apparently, they right? Named, they named it Sputnik Five. They came out before anyone could possibly have a vaccine and named it Sputnik Five. The previous four Sputniks were all satellites. They had nothing to do with vaccines. Yeah, they were, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were literally during the space race where Russia won that leg where they got the first satellites into mm-hmm. into orbit. Yeah. So 
literally them naming that vaccine Sputnik Five and announcing it way before anyone else was just a massive fuck you to America. But no one mentioned it. Not one. Not any of the articles. Nothing. I looked everywhere. No so one what's the conspiracy the theory? No, the, well, that, is a, a name? that is what's, a good point. What's happening? What's the theory, dude? What's the theory? Well, I don't know if there is a conspiracy there, but he did make a good point. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but no one's talking about it. (laughs) (laughs) You are. I need my fix. You're a legend, dude. (sighs) Matt. I I feel like you're a long lost friend. These guys have, you have to have one of these minimum for this segment to go. If there is not one stoner from uh, from Melbourne that's on this podcast from now on, we're stopping. We're (laughs) we're not doing calls anymore. But you guys aren't focused on his point he is making a good point it's what not is a the point the, the, the point is that <laughs> russians came up with this vaccine uh named it sputnik which had nothing to do with vaccines because they were all uh, satellites before before everyone else so it was basically a fuck you to the u.s saying like hey here we go we come before you once again and he the uh, what was your name mate jesse yeah. jesse jesse's problem is that no one has publicly acknowledged this payout it's like a man oh. has cracked a joke and no one has understood oh. it except for Jesse it, sitting in Melbourne smoking bombs. And he's just like, hey, Jesus, Jesse's you. a genius. Jesse, we got to smoke some weed, Jesse. Oh, I think that man. he's got it. Maybe, the, yeah, well, I, that is kind of weird, isn't it? That no one's hey, even props mentioned you, Yeah, I'm an idiot. But I do have a, this guy's the true dojo. But I do have a theory here, Jesse. I think it hasn't been mentioned because no one cares and it's boring. <laughs> No, it's not, yeah, but it's kind of, no, it's actually pretty funny. Dude. Like it's like irrelevant it's a funny though. Joke. Isn't it irrelevant? That's, a, that's some fucking great, like it's fucking high school, like Mean Girls bullshit. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Mean Girls of of um conspiracy theories, it's like landing a man on the moon. Uh, do aliens exist? Who invented the pyramids? Why did some people not vibe what Putin said? It was come on, it was kind of funny, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on. I'm on. I'm but he's on up there. I, I agree with that. Like Jesse is vibing. Jesse's vibing what? Putin. Putin. <laughs> he's, he's vibing Putin's core. I hate to do this. I am too. I hate to do this, but Jesse, just quickly, scallops or potato fucking cakes? Fuck. I'm I'm from the sunny coast, like born, but then like did high school. Like I, I say both. All right, that's very diplomatic. I'll let you have that. Damn. No, um, I think you solved the problem. A, a child of two worlds. Sadly. Yeah, cool. Child of two worlds, but you could probably do that with the lamington debate between New Zealand and Australia. Yeah, so that's both true. invented. Yeah. yeah, that's true, dude. You're a legend. Oh, uh, yeah. You're. I, I would. Uh, Thank you for bringing that. Look, he's doing a public service here. No one knew about this no. little payout. Yeah. And I, 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 Putin was crying in his room thinking, hey, man, how come I put in all this effort into my payout and <laughs> no one acknowledges it? And it's Jesse, Jesse. One man did. One man to rule them all. <laughs> Who probably has the exact same setup in his room right now as this. <laughs> Lithgo chickens. Dude, <laughs> I would gla- I'd like to smoke a joint with you in Carlton one day, which is where I su- assume you live. But Miss Love will uh, never do that because he actually freaks out on weed. But I'll still do it for you. I just won't smoke that much. He'll sit there vicariously saying, are you, are you sure? Can, can you make it lighter? Yeah, and then come up with an excuse not to do it. And then for no, two no, no. hours yeah. tell you how he is going insane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have a few puffs. I'm getting paranoid. I'm getting paranoid. Is it just me or dead man wants no, to kill No, he us needs all? to watch specifically Hurt Locker to focus his mind. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> True story. True story. Dude, you'll like this. I got so stoned once that and I was about to freak out and the only way I could get over greening out was zoning in hard to Hurt Locker. What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't Why like that? Because it was on, dude. I was forced into it. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought you specifically like, no, I need Hurt Locker. Right <laughs> yeah, I want the scariest, most intense movie I've made. No, someone just forced me to watch it and it worked. All right, yeah, that makes. Sense. All right, perfect. Thank you, Jesse, for calling us, uh, calling in and uh, imparting your wisdom. We appreciate. Cheers, it Jesse. Look, I'll right, let you mate. in on some. Have uh, a good one. Later, boy. Thanks, dude. I'll right. let you in on some uh, inside baseball that I've got. Everybody listening, how many people are watching at the moment? That's a good question. Yeah, let's not make that ball. <laughs> five over five hundred. What the bad. hell? I don't know what's going well, on. Well, anyway, the point is... Uh, <laughs> look at him, look at him. It's because we don't advertise. It's anymore. happening. Yeah, but is that why? Because we just haven't been telling people yeah, that it's on. pretty much. No, no, we have. There's four of us working on this podcast. <laughs> Holy... We have. I mean, I actually have an excuse because I don't go online. True. But 
That's still three guys. <laughs> Someone has to do it. Hey, you don't want to know what the reality is. We plugged it and it's still that. So just shut up. And oh, really? Really? I don't know. What's... Everyone's what's watching the YouTube one now because that one's going off, I guess. Come on. It's um, because of you. Stop being the Illuminati. The point is, I'll let you in on this because I'm actually happy that it's lower than normal. Um, do you know what? We've got to stop complaining. You know how we're always just going on Twitch and we're like, yeah, okay, we'll share you. And then you go to the next highest person in Australia and it's always just like someone who looks exactly like Bill Delphine (laughs) with 90 people. And the other thing is, is Bill Delphine Michael Jackson? (laughs) (laughs) Reincarnate. He went really white. Holy shit, dude. You can go out some pearlers occasionally. Oh, it's so <laughs> What, my, my conspiracy theory? <laughs> no, dude, it's not a conspiracy. It was just such an accurate burn on anyone on Twitch and it was just so good. So good. Just, <laughs> just, just like a nice spicy Italian meatball right there. It was just, that, that was nourishing. I leave to give, guys. What could I say? <laughs> uh, but I will give you this as well. Is Jesse still there? No. No, he's gone. Oh. Jesse still exists, okay, okay. but he's not here with us. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Freaking out, man. <laughs> Miss Love's baby object permanence kicking in. Yeah. I, it's like, a, what do you mean he still exists, but he's not here? It's like I smoked the weed, but didn't. Go on. What is it? Unless it's your life in a nutshell. It should be your autobiography. <laughs> it's like Miss Love Bella Bragic. I did not inhale. <laughs> 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 and it's just a pamphlet. It's really not. Yes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and, it's, and like one third of it is a, rip, is yeah, a ripping yeah. recipe for lobster. A ripping recipe for lobster. And then did I tell you I went to England once? <laughs> <laughs> How many chicks did you hook up with? Four. <laughs> was it four? I think it was four. <sighs> and Ali's confessions of a rascal. <laughs> I was driving. Like, puts his head over alfalfa in the little rascals. Dude, and chapter one. I'm going to go through the times I nearly drove over a mine driving to school. <laughs> this is going to take <laughs> this is gonna a take while. A while. <laughs> <laughs> the chapter one's longer than Great Expectations. Hey, that's basically Hurt Locker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't need to do a biography. That is just it. <laughs> Just, just stick your face over the bomb, the bomb <laughs> diffusers. Yeah, yeah, that's all he's like. Can we get a pegging scene in there somehow? Uh, <laughs> Why have we got, the we should least. have a million viewers. So, that's <laughs> bullshit. No. Life isn't fair. I don't think so. <laughs> I disagree. Okay, um, what were you going to say, Jordan? Do you want to complete your thought? Yeah. <laughs> And we'll see if this prediction works, but you know how Biden's campaign got interested in the Common Sense Brigade? Oh, okay, so we're at that part of the podcast. Okay. What? Just uh, the, 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 the readings. Yeah, well, Miss Love, just keep it down uh, for a second. Jordan. I can multitask. No, yeah, Jordan. Matt. You ca- Ali can. You just because he's got glasses. You get absorbed into mean, everything you're doing. Just because he has glasses. You start mor- if, if this podcast lasted 20 minutes longer, you would morph into the microphone and your face would be here. And just your whole life would be this thing. You'd be like, stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> you're peeking at. <laughs> at least I could record all the time. Wait, that, that'd be it. That, that, at least I could record all the time. It'd be a dream. <laughs> everything would be recorded 24-7. Not a righteous tone unturned. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the Common Sense Brigade, how the uh, Biden's people got interested in it. Mm, yes. Uh, I was talking to some intel and they were saying, because the Labor Party and the Democrats talk to each other all the time because they're sister parties. They were saying that what caught them with their pants down in the last election was that Trump's online game was so advanced. I'm assuming because they got the guys that do the Cold Ones podcast to run it. Like it was just yeah. so authentically internet-y, which is mm-hmm. why they were really interested in the Common Sense Brigade because they could see that this was not Democratic strategists just having a picture of Joe Biden on the front of like a lettuce head and it being like, lettuce in the White House. <laughs> hey, I thought you said they were bad memes. <laughs> Can we get that meme? Someone make that meme. Come on, lettuce in the White House. We'll put it up next to Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, and send us, if you're going to send us stuff, can you send us more weeb shit? 
Mm. How neon. do we call ourselves a Twitch stream without having some neon Japanese words? In agreed, person? agreed. Wholeheartedly agree with that. Can you guys send us some neon, just some weird Japanese writing or just like a bowl of ramen that lights up? We need something like that. We've got that, um, the globe that levitates. Oh yeah, the globe. Um, but yeah, so we were talking about the intern. <clears throat> Biden, in this election, not only has the algorithms that were invented by these super wizards that were working for the Republican Party in the last election that just completely trounced Hillary Clinton's digital game, uh, they just handed over the algorithms to them. I, I'm, I think because they were just libertarians or whatever. And they, were just, oh my God, Donald Trump has to make negotiations with it. This is insane. I didn't realize that the guy that sold himself on making deals would compromise on things. Yeah. So they, I think they were pissed off at that or whatever. Right. And so they sent all of their algorithms to the Democratic strategists. Well, on the, top of that, the Pepe guys. Pepe guys, no. the guys that invented all. Well, the guys that were working on Trump's campaign, they just, went just down. handed it all to the DNC. I did not know that. And that was the first part. The second part is a lot of dudes that used to work at Google, huge genius whizzes, took a pay cut of, I'm guessing, three million percent to work for the Democrats instead of Google because they thought like their game was terrible last time mm. and will increase it. And so they're saying now their online strategy is unparalleled in human history. I have like I have a few things to say on that. First of all, I think I, I disagree. I disagree with like aspects what? of it. <laughs> I disagree, with, <laughs> disagree with this information that you just heard. There's no one. I disagree with <laughs> that. I disagree with How the, can you disagree? I degree, disagree with some of the assumptions that you've made in this. Mm. Um, assumption <laughs> Assumption number one what? that uh, Trump's uh, uh, Republican social media game in 2016 was greater than uh, uh, Democratic Party's uh, social media game in 2016. Really? Isn't that it just actually, common knowledge? Incorrect. What? No. Trump's on. media. The, the, the difference is that Trump's uh, fucking online presence went insane because he was just a natural. He was natural viral content. Yes, it's not but because no. his right. team was great. In fact, if anyone's team was great, it was Hillary's team because Hillary's team came from Obama. Because Obama's election campaign was what formed like the new age digital online media campaigning. So all of that actually assets were with the Democrats. The difference was Hillary just wasn't a naturally viral thing. She, they were trying to make her into that. Whereas Trump was just, you know, he could do whatever he wants and that would become news because he was just a natural uh, sort of viral. No, they had a great character. product. They had an absolutely great product to work with. And I was saying that they had the organic build for him naturally in there. So they had all of those, just like a huge common sense brigade working for him mm. uh, for free. But <clears throat> there were people behind the scenes manipulating those memes and putting them in front of the right eyes. And that was where the, you know, real analytic whizzes came in. And there was a book written recently, I can't remember her name, but she was talking about how traditionally, it's true that Obama had, was ahead of the curve, but traditionally the conservatives have always been really good online, really effective online. And that's because obviously they have Koch brother money and the Koch brothers know that this is a really integral part of campaigning. And so they invested in it early and they had the infrastructure. And Obama, again, was a sellable candidate so they could do it. But the thing is, now this, this uh, has completely flipped again back in the Democrats' favour. And Joe Biden is nowhere near as hateable as Hillary Clinton. No. No, he's Hillary not. Hillary Clinton at our high school would have been the least popular chick that ended up being on MasterChef last year. Who? Well, the, dis you know. the dislike rate amongst <laughs> Republicans. That was pretty much going to school with Hillary Clinton, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> right. No, actually, there was another one that we went to school with who I'm pretty sure one day there's just going to be this burst through the windows here. We're like... <laughs> and will die and it'll be her forehead turning around from Canberra. So, it's just like a narwhal, it's just out here for no reason. Why was there so much forehead? Do you know, do you know what's like? It's like this one little offshoot of a Neanderthal, but the rest of it was Homo sapiens. You're going to have to fill me in who that is after, but it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I think I know. Spindly legs one that was like, I've got arthritis. Aren't you in year seven? Yeah. Christ. That's I still don't uh, know. Really unfortunate, um, but I guess. Uh, but 
<laughs> Jesus. Oh, now it's all coming back to. Ah, it's all coming back. It's so viscerally coming back. Yes. That forehead has just entered your mind and it's pushed everything out. That's what happens. The one that left. But here's, when, uh, here's an encouraging stat for you, Jordan. Crikey died. Remember that? No. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Shouldn't really say on a... Yeah. <laughs> We're live no, that'll right work. Now, that'll so. work. Yeah, this is your secret safe with me. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's like just, mics just, pick up sound from other directions. There was a few people that were happy when Steve Irwin died and I was like, that's fucked. Why was she? I don't know. Because I think it was just sort of like, you know, the intellect, the intellect, what's that word? Fuck. I wonder how much time she spends on Twitter now. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be a natural home. I feel bad. I'm a cunt <laughs> and I have really stupid thoughts. Hmm. Where do I go in life? You don't say this because you never know who'll stumble upon the pod. I, let's just cover our tracks here. I think she, she might be very, she might be a lovely person now. She's probably killing it. She was lovely then. I just didn't really know her. You didn't know her either. We're just being for shit, for, 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 for the for the content. And but uh, it's truly a mir- m- like mar- m- miracle of biology that your neck hasn't snapped <laughs> with the weight of your forehead. It's ruining my good work. It's like I'm building this. Well, I'm giving her a compliment up. as well. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't think that. You would... know that uh, species of moose where their antlers got too big and their necks did snap as a result. No, I and didn't. That's why I they don't... became extinct. I didn't know about that species. <laughs> She's our human version. Uh, how can I? It's, I'm too far in. I'm in the trenches now. I'm in. I'm in World War Two, and I have to go over the trenches with Jordan. And you know what? She once said to me, "You're horrible, and I hope you never have kids." And now that I think back at it, <laughs> I'm returning the favor. <laughs> I really think that you Is shouldn't. You, you should be that, sterilized. That, <laughs> if you have a forehead that long, you shouldn't be able to reproduce. <laughs> it's just going to be mean on your kids. Leave that. They won't be able to move their head until they're twelve. <laughs> Look, I'll, 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 I'll give you a bit of leeway because she said something to you that was very rude. But um, damn, I hadn't thought of that person for 12 years, I think. Well, that was a good blast for the past for everybody who doesn't know who that yeah, is. No one, especially and like, Ali. And this one, no one has thought of her in 12 years because no one knows who the fuck you guys are talking yeah, about. Dude, she is... was once on Insiders and put in her <laughs> and like, two And I was two very sets. interested in hearing the rest of what Jordan go had to on, say about go the Go on, go on. Dude, this isn't Studio 10 <laughs> with people, her head. Yeah, at least people <laughs> know who Joe Biden is. Dude, we're, this, is, this is not Studio 10. We can go on tangents. It's cool. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. continue. What do on. you want, Paul? Do you want to know more about her head? <laughs> yes, I'm. <laughs> yes, I'm Paul! Yeah, good Paul. We're waiting, Matt. <laughs> Double R gate. They, they <laughs> want to know. All right, if we get to 50 uh, subs, I'll say the name yeah. of you. Yeah, how about some more someone subs? Someone is saying on Uplate. <laughs> What? We'll say it on up like, okay. Uh, you know what? If we don't get to 50 subs, you're going to have to sign up to Patreon and we will get yes. to the bottom of double R game. And also, I'm sick of us not shilling for subs. We haven't done that for months. Hey, 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 sub up. Look at, look at the hands. No, 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 can sub. Go to no, Patreon. No, Go to Patreon. We're not, we're not doing subs. Oh, we don't care. Uh, what I meant to say was screw, <laughs> screw, screw subs. subs. Yeah, Patreon. Get on Patreon. Look at the hands. Yeah, get on, get on, get on Patreon. I nearly said that's what I meant. See, that means money for anybody who doesn't know. <laughs> Or if there's blind people that are currently listening to this, this is predominantly an audio medium. I'm doing the hands of money, which which is indicated by the forefinger and the thumb rubbing back and forth. Anyway, continue. Well, Ali obviously wants to talk about American politics because he's obsessed with it and he will be starting up that <laughs> rational Hawaiian shirt channel. Crowder. With this Louder. mic as well. What's, what's something like Louder with Crowder but Ali? No, but he'd be one of those dickheads that always starts everything with, so the Democrat... Hey, can you Why call do you this? hate the Democrats you call, more than the Republicans? Can you call it this? The yeah, Aust- they're too cucky for me. Oh, can you call your show this? Getting ostentatious with Ali. Ostentatious Good with name. Ali. I'll do that. All right, um, what do you guys like ideas. more? Because I do like mine, I've got to say. I know that I'm extremely biased source, but I like rational Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I like that a lot too. But you didn't finish your point. Your point was... What was it, Miss Lowe? It was it, your point was that the Republicans had better meme factor and Ali was saying, no, it was just Trump's 
you know, Maggie. We really do need to ring up that 20 year old from Manly again. I know, probably we knows do. More he should, yeah, yeah. He probably is working on Trump's You guys, campaign. this is not, you're not really disagreeing. Or you're, you're, you're fine tooth combing between no, meme I, capabilities. I'm not, they disagree- both I'm not disagreeing mean. about like any, I'm li- trying to listen to what's the rest of Jordan's point. But I do agree with you in the terms of like, there's this great moderation. I mean, like, look at fucking Jordan Peterson's views or anyone that comes into the moderate, mm. their views. It's It's clear that, like, you know, from 2000 to 2010, it was the the polarization where people were moving from the middle to where it's like, I'm socialist. I'm actually like a sh- super anti-socialist. Joe, I'm a libertarian. Liber- uh, yeah. Joe Biden's too lefty. No, nah, Joe Biden's too right. And now it's going back to like, there is, I guess some people call it sanity, where, you know, um, people are coming into like, the center. There's still a lot of outliers. So that's where like uh, the common sense brigade matters. That's what Joe Biden is also trying to do. And I think that's a good idea. So I'm not necessarily disagreeing with that aspect. I'm just disagreeing with the fact that Republicans had a great uh, meme machine. In fact, if you listen to like uh, the campaigning uh, campaigners of Trump, people like his own son, like Donald Trump Jr., they talk about how clueless they were about digital uh, campaigning. He was. Well, his, but not the people that actually campaign, got him into the White you, House, which you, was the Koch brothers. If you remember, throughout Trump's campaign, people always assumed that Trump was going to lose. And in fact, until election night, everyone assumed that Trump will lose, including himself. Not everyone. So people, people kept like dropping off of his campaign. When that, uh, um, that bus thing happened, most of his campaign, most of the people, most of the big wigs that supported him uh, to get elected dropped out. It was only after Trump won that everyone was like, oh shit, and then people started coming back into it. Most Republicans or like traditional Republicans that have those sort of assets had actually abandoned Trump, which is why it was quite a remarkable feat for him to win elections in the first place. You know what I think also that the fact that the press this election, obviously the Murdoch press, uh, conservative radio, they're all going to be saying that Trump is going to win and if he doesn't win, it is because the Democrats stole the election. So make sure that you vote twice. In person. Yeah, that, so I think that uh, this election, I think the press's through line has been, this is really tight. Oh my God, he's only up by 14 points. This is not enough, guys. We're, like, we're really like struggling here. So I think there's actually a view that they're deliberately trying to push that it's really urgent for you to go and vote. They're trying because to they're doing the loss. exact opposite of what they did they in did 2016. They did and they fucked up. Because no, 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 but in 2016, the, the press's line, and I think this was just out of sloppiness, was this is in the bag for Hillary Clinton. It was. Yes. Stay home. You know? naive, so that's the, they're, they're trying to avoid that this time. That's that's all that that is. Can I have some predictions here? We haven't even predicted what we – we haven't, you know, voiced our opinions who's winning. Who, who, you know, who's going to win? I think well, Joe like Biden's going to win. I think Joe Biden's going to win, but I've been wrong about be every election ever. Well. I, I thought, but yeah, I, I think it'll be a crushing defeat. It'll be a too. crushing defeat. In fact, uh, what do you mean? If, a landslide, either way. Yeah, like, as in, look, here's the thing Trump has a chance of winning, but Trump needs to have a lot going for him to win. And I know, and I'm saying this even after 2016. Everyone's being a little careful. That's why you heard people saying like, "I don't know, maybe Trump's gonna win," because you know, after 2016, everyone's wary. But I think Trump will win. Uh, sorry, uh, Biden will win. Biden is, I, in my assessment, the the key state is Pennsylvania. If Trump wins Pencil, Pennsylvania, then only he has a chance of winning. Because let's say Trump wins your usual swing states as well. Let's say he wins Arizona. He wins um, uh, sh- small shitty Florida. ones like New Hampshire, uh, f- uh, Florida, right? If he wins all of this and Biden wins all of the Midwest that had initially gone for um, Trump, places like uh, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, Biden is still going to win. It's only if Trump can make a dent in Midwest mm. and all of the sudden ones that are swing – then can he win? And that's like, it can happen, but is it likely to happen? I don't know. Yeah. I think the swing will, uh, the polls will probably be lower than, um, as in the polls are predicting that uh, Biden's going to win by a big margin. Mm. I don't right, think yeah. that's that's no. going to happen because a lot of people that vote for Trump. Well, in the swing states, I thought in the swing states it was pretty narrow. It is narrow. In, well, swing states by definition are narrow, but in some states it's narrower than others. So for example, a state like Pennsylvania, it is somewhat narrow. Which is why I think it's a, it's a crucial one. But like in states like Michigan, at this point, Biden is like uh, winning by eight to nine points. And well, Michigan, is Michigan a swing? 
Michigan is winning because Hillary lost it. Mm. This was the same Midwest that the whole co uh, complaint was that she didn't end up going. Yeah. And if she had literally won one of these two states, she would have won the election. Because Shit. we and we always forget how close fucking 2016 was. Most people assume when they look at the map that it went all red that, oh, Trump won everything. No, Trump and Hillary were very, very close. Yeah. It's only because of the electoral college that the map seems more red. So even today... Well, how many college votes did he get? Um, I 300? Think he, yeah, somewhere around that. But that was because he would win In certain states, states by like a very 15. small wafer thin margin and he would get the electoral uh, votes for, for the entire place. So what I'm saying is, let's say, let's assume... And you know what Hillary else as well? Hillary was running today, right? Mm. You Someone know that we all know is extremely unpopular. She could still win the elections. It was that close in 2016. Mm. Wow. And... There's also just the, the, I don't know, these are all the boring factors that the mainstream press always talks about. You get COVID, you get COVID, you can't, yeah. you're not doing good. Yeah. That's all plays into it as well. Yeah, of course. One by a tiny margin. I think that when people are always saying that the press is against Donald Trump, people just don't understand that uh, the Koch brothers have pretty much just set up their own alternative press <laughs> in the US that is pretty much just a rival mainstream media. I guess it would just be... The mainstream media would be Coles and Woolworths and uh, Coke Brothers have just created Aldi. Yeah, Fox they've created – like it's not that much smaller. Yeah. That would wow. be the difference. Never, so they've I've just got millions and millions and millions of people. This, well, look, Rush Limbaugh, 20 million right there. Whoa. Fox News, apparently just by Fox News existing, the swing towards presidents ever since it was set up towards Republican presidents – has been increased just by them beaming out definitely by four to six percent every election that they otherwise wouldn't have. You can't cuck the top. What do you guys think about this stat? I'll tell you one stat and tell me what do you think of this. So when interviewed, most Democratic voters when were when they were asked um, uh, why uh, who are you going to vote for and why they said Biden because um, they don't like Trump. Right? The 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 anti-Trump factor in fact was close to mid 50% and the rest of them were like Biden's a nice guy. So most of the Democrats think that um, Trump is just horrible. That's why they want to vote him out. Most Republicans when asked why they don't want to vote for Biden, they didn't say because they don't like him like they did with Hillary, the unfavorability. They said they don't want Biden because he's going to pursue socialist policies. Mm. The encouraging thing about that is that, because that's clearly bullshit, right? Like you can't get more moderate than Biden. Like mm. it's, 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 it's crazy. So a lot of those suburban moderates that last time when they came out, they would have been like, ah, fuck Hillary. Mm. They, they are kind of reasonable. I don't think they'll buy the socialist thing. I think mm. they would have bought it if it was Bernie. They would have been like, yeah, actually, that, that makes sense and I kind of want to protect my taxes. But someone like Biden who has like over four decades of public, um, yeah. uh, public experience and being in office. Because he is likable. Well, the, the more important thing is that he's not hateable. And that's a good thing. Right, it's Sometimes not when you hate someone, that's a more powerful emotion. That's than true. Something. You can't really hate him. You can say he's like sleepy. And the good thing is only 8 to 10% Republicans hate him. You know what? It's that's actually a, good a pretty thing. good mm. trait in politics. It's like Anastasia Palaszczuk as well. Mm. Anastasia Palaszczuk isn't like a cult figure. She no. kind of just exists and you look at her and you think, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're my teacher for English. <laughs> but that's what you want. I'm sick of these like big, this, this idea of you need big, bold characters that are going to be like, you know, these like super strong personalities. It's like. <sighs> no, because like, you get that love them or hate them. Yeah, but exactly. But it's not very good for wherewithal in politics. Exactly. Obama was a very special character in that he actually had both. What do you he was, say? He was extremely likable and sort of like non-offensive. What yeah. do you say to well, those? It's just really like weird because most of the time, you if you're if you have like a cold, like look, I'm an example of that, I guess. Like people either love me or they fucking despise me. <laughs> like that, there's no really? real middle ground with friendly jewels. Really? Yeah. Well, that's that's a really good trait, I think, if you're in broadcasting. Yes, right. You really want to have that figure, but when you're in politics. No, you just want to be like that sugar, that that sugar replacement. I can't remember what it's Stevia. called. Stevia. Stevia. You want to be Stevia. Yeah, look, Obama was just, first of all, he was a very, very intelligent man. It's hard to get, like, but Biden, don't you think Biden is not nearly as intelligent as Obama Not now, is. but he was pretty smart Never in the day. Never was he that really? intelligent. Do you, know, do you know, like, Obama, okay, let's look at, like, the last few Democratic presidents, right? Uh, Obama, first black president to become president of Harvard Law Review, uh, went to Harvard Law School, Bill Clinton, Rhodes Scholar. Uh, Hillary Clinton, Rhodes Scholar. 
Do you know what Joe Biden's done? Barely graduated from shitty university in middle America. He, <laughs> but you know what he's else he in had power though? Because I, I don't hate him. I'm not saying he's stupid. I'm just saying he's not. Typically, Democrats have just gone gotten geniuses. Like you can think Obama, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton. They were probably some of the smartest people on the planet. But Biden's got street smarts. But Biden's Biden's not likability, but he but he's not smart by any means. The, the thing No, he is. He's got street smarts, he's, man. Biden, Come on, guy. Biden guy. would be more intelligent than all three of us combined. That's a different thing. We're talking but we're not running to like lead the free world. Do you the, think the, Trump's the really different. stupid? I don't think he's stupid and I don't think Biden's stupid either. I just think like Obama was a genius. There's a difference. He wasn't intellectual by any means. He used to teach constitutional law. Within law, law is considered to be difficult. Constitutional law within law is considered to be the most difficult thing. I didn't thing. know that. He was in his early 40s to late 30s and he was teaching constitutional law. You need to be a special person to be doing such, something of that sort anyways. How much stupider do you think Trump is than than uh, Biden? Um, I, I, I think they'd be like probably the same. They both have different strengths. I'm, I'm not saying that... Uh, when they were debating each other, it was... They seem to be like pretty much on par. Yeah, it was a pub. It was just a pub. It was awesome. conversation. It was like, yeah. give me, give me, a, give me a Carlton. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You, you know, what I mean, it's like, uh, shut up, guys. Shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut on up. either ends of the bar. Yeah, that that's was what it. Was. And then there was some bartender being like, "Who do I shirt? Yeah, that's Carlton? what it was. Hey, shut up for a second. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And yeah. it's like, hey, come on, this guy. Yeah, listen what he's he doesn't want a Carlton. Yeah, he doesn't want. Yeah, yeah. listen, listen what he's saying. Like, just listen to me. Like, I'll tell you how it is. No, it is absolutely not true. Like, it's it was uh, awesome. I loved that debate. I hated that everybody I was it saying that this was really. Really disappointed. It was nice to have. But you just say that about every debate. You don't care about the yeah. vibe of it. And the vibe of that was so much better than watching Hillary Clinton and Trump. That was very uncomfortable. I, they're interesting points you're making. I've never thought about that before. What? The, the, the fact that I didn't. But know. I don't think I don't think that the education or it's him paramount. being genius matters in terms of people doing like uh, people voting for someone. I don't think it matters to them if you went to like Harvard or Princeton, which one's like slightly higher. I think that usually it would actually vote. It will, turn against you as well. But yeah, if now, you're someone like Obama, definitely. he was able to use his super fucking head and because he, if he was t- speaking to a bunch of academics, he would speak in a language that most people don't yeah. understand. In fact, I've listened to some of his stuff and, and it is very, very smart. But when he was speaking to the average person, he just knew how to, even though dumb it down, but Not also patronizing. put it out in a way that like, hey, this is how I normally talk and this is like, I'm just expecting you to be an old, but he, just a great orator. Like, I don't think there's any controversial about, uh, controversial thing about like He's how good, good Obama was at speaking. Yeah, he was a great Every speaker. Every sort of person. How good was he at motivating? He is the perfect politician for like an evil fucking, uh, you know, back of the hands organization because he was able to create the best front that you could possibly have. Mm. As a leader of a country, wherever he went, People looked at him. People respected him. He spoke in a manner that made people respect him. He... Uh, he basically lawyered America's case the best way it was possible. And also, eh, he also ramped up like the soldiers in Afghanistan. He also like, you know, bailed out the bankers. So he was doing all the good stuff yeah, in that way. Yeah. But at the same time, the front was just insane to the point where most people still think Obama is awesome. And I think he is awesome. All of that stuff is great. But if you kind of look at his policies, they weren't much different from any of the others before him. Yeah. Maybe some, some of the stuff was slightly better. But most of the stuff was kind of the same. But he was able to put across his presidency as like, you know, maybe because like, oh, just the one example that often people give, like, what about gay marriage? Gay marriage got legalized during Obama. Obama had fuck all to do with it. It was the Supreme Court that tilted the balance. But that goes into Obama just because of his fucking public persona. His persona was so cool. It's like, yeah, you made uh, gay people get married. Yeah, it's a cool. I'm not saying he, but he can for shoot the hoops. first four years of his presidency, he was against gay marriage. I mean, it's that fucking hypocritical. Anyways, what do you say about those like polit- uh, Republican political pundits? What, you know, they, they always do that thing of being like, you want a guy like Obama who did nothing for eight years. Nothing. He didn't do anything. Just another talking head Democrat towing the line for, for you know, like that argument. Is that just bullshit? Um, some of it is bullshit. It's, 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 it's. Is that something when they you always say go on? He didn't on? do anything. That's a bit much. He spent I mean, like yeah. eight years in office, so he did a few things. Like for example, Affordable Care Act was quite an accomplishment. Obamacare, and it was it was it wasn't nearly as far enough or as good enough as like most industrialized countries. But in the context of U.S., it was still fucking hard to yeah. pass through. Yeah. But he managed to do it. He picked his battles, his battle, and which is again something that a smart politician does. His battle was okay. 
I'm going to try to get healthcare on as a concession. I'm going to have to give the bailout. Mm. He was just one of those guys that Practical. was like practically did it. And he chose his uh, his preferences in that. But I mean, one politician could be like, no, I'm not going to go for the bailout even if I can't pass my health care bill. Yeah. No, it's it's, pragmatic, yeah, it's, it's pragmatic. the decisions. It annoys Shit, me. Like, okay. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm sick of people shitting on Obama now. Yeah. A lot, it's but, trendy. But this is the thing a lot of, a lot of people do. About so people. Many oh, you guys, uh, in the comments, what do you think about Obama? Yeah, what do you think? Because a lot of people... Just a lot a of poll on Obama at the moment. Let's see what his favorability rate is. 100%. Yeah. Bill, but uh, you know, okay, yeah. I'll, this is how I'll tell you, like, Obama was such a genius, uh, a, a good politician. I'll compare him to... So I don't know if you've been following the news, but there's a hue and cry uh, in, um, by Muslims against uh, the French President Macron, right? Yes. French President Macron. So now, what happens is, some guy, I'm just telling you how two politicians behave in a situation, right? So, France has a terrorist attack where some asshole kid beheads beheaded a teacher. a teacher, right? Which is horrible. What was his race? Uh, by, by showing the cartoons, Chechnyan. right? Chechnyan. Mm. What, really? I don't know it was Chechnyan. Well, I, I don't think it matters. Like, but like, but wow. the point is that he does that, right? Now, the, what happened? What, what I can imagine what would have happened as a consequence in France was there would have been immense public pressure to like because people would have been outraged by this and rightly so. Now a weak politician like Macron, what did they do? They go up, they say how freedom of speech is important. Like there's nothing wrong with that that you should do. But they also uh, put out all of these things like Islam's in crisis. The Muslim community needs to face all of this, which at the time sounds great, right? And it also satisfies his own uh, public. Uh, particularly the right wing. So he thinks he's the made a good decision. The common change, not the right wing. Now, the switch of that was that a lot of Muslim countries have boycotted French goods. Mo a lot of uh, prime ministers and presidents of uh, Muslim countries are publicly criticizing Macron. Now, the effect of that is during a fucking second wave of coronavirus, he has to deal with not just other Muslim countries' presidents boycotting his stuff, but also a new wave of terrorism that he has created. Obama, on the other hand, for eight years got so much shit by the Republicans and everyone for not using the word Islamic terrorism. Domestically, he suffered so much from it. He probably lost a few votes because of it, but that was smart. Because he wasn't pulling up all of these bullshit issues that now Macron has. Macron is now doing damage control. This is the difference between a short-sighted politician and a long-sighted politician. Obama had the capability to understand all of this stuff. Even though he got criticized for so it. So that's why he did Someone it. like Dan Andrews. You know what else is really nice and inspiring criticism. about him? He does say that all the time. If you listen to Obama, he actually has the right view on things. Which is that in politics... He's use, always using the metaphor of just turning a giant ship just a few degrees and eventually mm. that turns into a big trajectory over the long term. And he's always saying this as well, which is awesome because, as you're right, you're so right, there's so many politicians that kind of just focus on the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle of the press and whatever the fuck is immediately in front of them. They just take the bait for that little press hit or that little sugar hit. No, you're so right. D Obama was one of those... I'll wait for the two marshmallows kids. I'll wait because he was you. always using this phrase, focus on the big picture. Yeah, he and used he did. it so much. He deserves credit for that. He, I still he think you should be able to call a sheep a sheep though, on the, on, to play devil's you advocate. Should be, you should be able to miss love, but not if you're the prime minister. A prime minister don't you think needs to resist do, but don't you certain think, things. I understand that, but don't you think sometimes- Even though it might be the right thing to True, no, I understand that, but don't you think sometimes- the situation doesn't call for diplomacy. We like I, no. The some, situation calls for diplomacy when you're hit by a second wave of coronavirus, and the last thing you want is another fucking true. spat of terrorist Look, attacks. What, and you should be able to say whatever you want, and you have the right to do it. <clears throat> but as a president, you should be mindful of that. But why would someone that spat, like Dan Andrews? You know what? I give him immense credit. He did very he well. Yeah, got so much shit. For he it, did. He right? did. It was unbearable. Imagine a weak politician in that situation. They would have opened the lockdown. Particularly when for five days you've had five cases of coronavirus and you're still saying no. And as yeah. a result, today, it's zero. been, what, three days? Zero. zero results. A weak politician at that time would have given in. It's that's true. That's why a uh, US coronavirus situation is out of control. They never locked it down properly. They never had the balls to listen to it. When people were saying, fuck you, I hate you as a politician, you need to be taken out. A brave leader at that point is like, okay, hit me, do it. I'm going to do this because I know this is right. And I, if I lose as a result, that's fine. But you know what? These kind of politicians, including Dan Andrews, they won't lose because now people of Victoria know why he did it. And he keeps using the through line, which is great. 
which is that leadership isn't about doing what's popular. It's about making tough decisions. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's right. And mentioning donors. And that would mean you know what? That's, why, that's a line that people would really respect when they hear it. Why, why, would, why would mentioning uh, d- d- fucking the Islam issue increase terrorism in France? So if, if you say, look, it's a triggering thing for Muslims. If you say Islam is in crisis and Muslim, what ends up happening? What's so the people Muslim are already, population of France? How high is it? Well, I don't think it matters if the Muslim, it's big enough to have terrorist attacks. Right? And also France is in a situation where there's already confrontation. Europe is in, is in a confrontation mode. Sometimes, well, there was just another one in uh, where we said earlier in uh, and I can And I can tell you this. The, irrespective Austria. of you should call a spade or a spade, but had Macron not called a spade a spade at that point, he wouldn't have this. And you know what we'd be fo- focusing on? How to contain coronavirus. Because that's more important. That's yeah, but some dude, random look, Muslim, again, blowing up. Yeah, but what? Turkey buys less French wafers and croissants from them. Who gives a fuck? I mean, I suppose, but you know, like when you're going through like a global recession, it kind of matters. Yeah, true. I mean, whatever yeah. you want, like, dude, there's like almost two billion Muslims out there. No matter how much you hate it, you're gonna have to fucking coexist with them. And sometimes, even though you might be right, you're it's gonna smarter read to death keep of your mouth shut for a little bit. You should read Strange Death of Europe. Yeah. I have read Strange Death of Europe. I'm not saying that have you, you changed your policies. Yeah, I have. I still really? have it at my house. No, nah, you, you read a chapter. Come on. I read, I read all of it. Off. Really? Yeah, what, yeah, did you yeah. think you, what did you think about it? I think it? it was good, but that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Like, as yeah, I know that's wanna, not what you're talking about. If you want to yeah. increase quotas of whatever Muslim, just do it fucking at the backdrop. I know this, this is yeah. going to sound shit, but like, don't what, what publicize that shit because the rhetoric of it is going to create you more pro- and create more pro- so It probably would look practically. At, look, at, like, look at what Australia is doing, right? We're not making a huge uh, fuss about how we hate Muslims, but you know what's also been happening? <laughs> we don't, don't just say we hate Muslims. No, no, no I'm saying fuss. we make a big fuss yeah. about. But you, you know what you is happening? Miss love in there. Our immigration has drastically increased from places like India, basically non-Muslim countries. Yeah. Oh, they're not making it public. So you're just saying that essentially it's placing Muslims with Hindus. But yeah, you, because so like, aren't you know, they the same thing? But they believe in scary. Well, that's a thing. Right now, but people so hate so, Muslims. So, so right? basically, so. you're just saying that like, it's it's just like being pragmatic and and uh, being emotional, irrelevant of the emotional connotation to, connotations to how someone speaks. Being pragmatic is way more significant. Just yeah, knowing when to, to be, say something for for leaders, absolute paramount <laughs> that they are pragmatic. But if you want to be emotional, be emotional for the right things. Be emotional for like, let's say you're the president of the US. I'm gonna come up with a healthcare plan that's good. Like what Obama thought was good. He was emotional, oh, like, I don't, I'm not yeah. gonna accept it. This is what I'm co- I've no, come here to do that, yeah. and I'm going to push through. And that, and that saves how many lives because that's, ultimately? Because those are big matters. Yeah. Those are the ones that Pop. actually affect people. Yeah, yeah. There's one person that got beheaded in France and I'm not like defending it. It's fucking crazy. When you're the guy that has a fucking head in there, you have lost all right to speak. Yeah. But at the same time, by calling a spade a spade, what are you going to achieve at this point? Mm. Do you think it's going to drastically improve things? What's I don't know. Happen? I don't know. People are going to stop beheading others now. I mean, no, no. This is but... this is a marathon. It doesn't come with like you know day, yeah. like what Jordan was saying. People, Unless, some people react yeah. to day to day, and some people. Think I suppose. Of I suppose if there's policy that's in place, if there if there will be no repercussions, then it'll be fine. Like for instance, you know. If Poland made a statement like that, it wouldn't matter because they don't have any Muslim immigration. They have zero what? net, and they also have zero net terrorist attacks as well. So it's like that's not an issue. But I understand what you're saying that, like in France, in France, France yeah. is a fucking powder keg right now. Yeah, and France There's is like so many Muslims over there. There is and a also, lot. Yeah, all of those Muslims are very pissed at their countries. Like Muslims and British might also be pissed off at their governments. Like we've seen the London uh, train attacks and stuff, but not a nearly lot of as pissed as like French Muslims are against the French government. Why? Well, look, they have a the French have a different way of like they're very adamant about some of their principles that might contradict. Like, like they're what, the liberalism only country, they're the only country at this point. That like democracy, making it still there. Like him. Here's a funny thing: it's the only country in the, the world cage. right now that fines you for covering your face and for not covering your face. What? What do you mean? If you are wearing a niqab as a Muslim woman, which one's that's that? An, uh, when you've covered your face, right, right, right. right. That's an offense, and okay. you can get fined for it. Yeah. Because of lockdown rules, if you're not covering your face, you can also get fined for it. Okay, that is ret- that is insane. Damn. It's so they make it. A, they make Maybe it evil COVID. Man. Wait but a second. It's that- not that people in England 
or uh, <laughs> white people in England love the idea of looking at like these ninjas walking around the society. <laughs> they hate it as much as any other French person would. But they're also smart enough to realize, let's not make this into a huge now. issue. Because it's, if we do this, it's yeah. not going to reduce the number of ninjas. It's only going to increase it. So, And one last thing, just coming back to Obama made this point remarkably during one of the debates. There was a debate stage when he was like uh, doing the Democratic nominations. And a question was asked mm. saying, who over here, with like 10 Democrats, who over here supports making English language the official language of America? Seems like a very non-controversial and easy thing. It, it is the official language. You know language. what Obama said? Obama said, I, I don't like your question and called it out for the exact reason. It's like, because at the end of the day, what you're trying to say is, you're trying to make me say, yes, it should be so that Mexicans should speak English as well. But this is an issue that does not matter. This question is designed to divide people. Right. Because who cares what the official language is? Do you think people in America do not speak English? Yeah. Everyone does. You're only it's a political making this... Uh, a, a political issue. Yeah, it's a, and it's yeah, the same yeah. thing that applies in like the in, in a lot of sometimes. I mean, I don't totally making agree something with that, illegal but. is not going to make it less. No, that's true. I mean, look, I don't know. I, I understand what you're saying with that example, but I mean, it, it, there are practical issues with that. I mean, like Spanish is like vastly like like running like beating English in the race of dominant language in uh, America, New Mexico. And um, but, but in what way? That is, it's just right. It's like it's just that's just the it's just the question. Of, that's more of a question of at uh, no official capacity has Spanish replaced English. No, not at replaced, no level no, have now. Uh, in, in California, in like yeah, pop culture uh, at times. But even Despacito has like a few English words. What about Cal Dude, English? I, is I, not Calif getting replaced. English California is now is the language of science. That yeah. in itself makes it bulletproof. No, but like it's not. I'm, I understand what you're saying, but I think that it's not. It should you should be allowed to discuss that. It shouldn't be. I don't think you should be called like tag like brandished as like a racist to be like. Well, no, I don't think. That. I'm just know, saying that yeah. then you face. No, no, no. But he's right. He, yeah, as a, as a leader, you're supposed to just kind of focus on a couple of. No, I understand. For Obama, like it would have been stupid because that would have just, like you said, I understand. If you're and and it's good to hear that if you're a big thinker. That is not a big issue. So I understand that. I understand that. Particularly when there are other bigger uh, things. Yeah. Anyways, my yeah. prediction was, and those, I think yeah. Joe, I might be wrong. I think Joe Biden is going to win and I'm going to go on a limb to get crucified because next podcast, it will be clear. I'm going to go on a uh, whim to say he's actually going to crush Trump. Well, I think Biden will win too. I just, I'm getting slightly worried now. I'm about? Like, that Trump might win. It's like as Michael Moore said he would. I didn't even no, I didn't even know he said that. It's just like it just I thought I saw some polls and stuff and I was like, it's close right now. He's just uh, uh, Biden's just ahead in Florida. It's it's gonna be fucking close. So you yeah, should that's always just a give and take Florida. Right. Well, Pennsylvania, like he said, maybe that'll be the, the, the that'll call it. And if Michigan's blue, then that's a that's a huge win for Biden. But like I'm just saying, I'm at the point where I won't be surprised either way. Personally, but yeah. I, but I still think Biden will probably and all the other just because I've heard is like it, it, Fox News just keeps putting this in and just like the mailing ballots seem to be favoring Trump at the moment. Yeah, but the mailing ballots are done by old people, right? So that's obviously going to be skewed towards Apparently Trump. Apparently, a quarter of the population has submitted pre-poll ballot. That's crazy if you think about it. Yeah. One fourth. I don't know. That if is this, a lot. Uh, I think part of it also has to do with a lot of people who think that they won't be able to vote on election day because of yeah. queues and all that shit. So I don't know. We, uh, apparently a quarter of the votes have already been. But cut. that's not a yeah, that's not a problem, right? What's the issue with that? Well, it, we'll Could find be delayed. out. We'll if, find out soon. Yeah, we'll find out. If Fox Damn. News is right and it's mostly old people shit. that are voting in for Trump, that's not a good thing. No, I mean, but like uh, when you look at the other demographics that break down that got Trump over the line last time, so like suburban white women, uh, yeah. even, even like rural men. Yeah. Farmers. It's nowhere near the approval ratings that it was last time. Yeah. And well, let's be honest. If Biden's going to win, it's just because of fucking COVID. And, not, and <laughs> you don't, it, Biden, just COVID. Nah, Trump I doesn't even just is. have to win rural men. Trump has to crush in all of these things yeah. like he did in 2016. Like no, but it 95% of rural men 
like people that lived in country areas yeah. voted they, for Trump and expected it was like places like Georgia where like Atlanta was yeah. a very small area in Atlanta was Hillary but the more you went towards the outskirts the number of Trump percentage just kept increasing yeah. if you went into the hillbilly category yeah yeah understandable all of them were almost 100% well Trump. he was promising Trump needs to replicate uh, that's that's a uh, that's that's a big ask because a lot of these people might not vote. Guys. What the hell? No, oh, no. <laughs> He's back. Wait, what, what are you saying, right. Matt? The Trump There's lover. Been, uh, uh, nearly 100 million early votes Shit. in the US as it's of like about an hour third. ago. Shit. Um, yeah. Which is over two thirds of the entirety of all the votes from 2016. Fuck, there you go. Whoa. Shit. But you know what? So I a lot more people are coming a, out now. I think this is, a, yep. this is positive for Biden and not Trump. Why? Because that means that there are a lot of people are not taking their chances and they're costing their vote in early. If I think it's because they they definitely want to make their voice heard. I think this is better for uh, Biden and not somebody Trump. in chat made a point earlier about how in 2016 uh, all of the Trump supporters went out and voted for Trump because they wanted Trump in, and a lot of Democrats didn't go to vote because they didn't like Hillary. They didn't want to uh, vote for whatever reasons. And now those same Republicans are still voting for Trump but there's heaps of new people voting because they don't, don't want Trump in. Right. I think this is true. And also right. the assumption was that Hillary was going to win. It's a joke. Trump's a joke. <sighs> Literally before the election, Trump's just try and remember how everyone thought yeah, they Trump thought it was, was a, a joke. joke. When people said that Trump's going to win, a lot of people would start laughing. But I really it. can't wait for it actually because Biden will be seen in history, I think, as the savior of the planet. Are you serious? That's, that's, it's just so obvious. Like I'm such a fan. I've, all, I've been a fan that's since a day one. Ever call. since I saw his smile, I was just like, yeah. That's a, now that's your white teeth for a champion. Do you, so do you really think all the slashing of regulations and just fracking and coal fire and all that shit, you really think that that would destroy the planet? That's what Chomsky says. And let's not overstate that. Like, Biden's environmental policies are They're amazing. Like so much better it? than Obama's. Completely green and by way 2030? better than Hillary Clinton's. Completely green by 2030 or 2050? I think 2030 said completely green. Nah, 2050. 50, would be. 50. They're always aiming at 2050. But the, but I think that the other thing is that people always just think that that's the only thing that matters is climate change. But, man, regulating the fishing industry mm. would really help. Yes, it probably would. As opposed would. to Trump, they just put it as this free-for-all. Like really? small yeah, you things. can find a new species, find out what it tastes like. Yeah. And there are small <laughs> things that would actually help. Like, let's to be fair, like, I don't know if you guys would particularly <laughs> care about this issue, but like, for example, if Biden comes into power, he's going to move those detention centers that are right now in Mexico into uh, America. Yeah, you're right, I don't care. Yeah, I know you guys why is that? Care. Wait, why would he? Oh, no, Mr. Dude, really cares. Is that, good or, bad? Is that good or bad? I think that's really good because like fucking uh, the people from like Honduras that are on Mexican border trying to get into the US are actually getting kidnapped by cartels oh. and they keep getting kidnapped. In fact, they've come up with this new system. If you've been kidnapped once, they'll give you a secret code. So next time you try and get kidnapped, you can tell them that code and they won't kidnap you. It's that intense. Whoa. So just moving that from the Mexican side of the border to American side of the border is going to help a lot of families, you know. So mm. like really small stuff like that is is it be it'll be a lot better with Biden. I I think, and I'm sure. Look, I honestly think that uh, Biden is he's just like he's just like another Obama, and that's not a bad thing. Like he's just kind of like a. I think he's just like he seems to be. You know, his policy seems to be, like you said, like very centrist. And it's almost like that is is like, seems like really sweet right now. It's like, oh, I remember that, you know? I remember like sensible regulation, sensible uh, public funding. Hey, bankers, still, you know what, they, bankers they, they, can they, still be really rich. Let everyone, like let Wall Street be like corrupt and rich and let, that's fine. Do bailouts and everything, you know. It's it's just straight up centrist, and it's just like, yeah, that, that, that's nice. That seems yeah, but like it's, nice yeah, now. it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Just the idea of national parks having enough money to hire a couple of rangers. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a nice. Really nice improvement. Shit, dude, Trump must be tr the propaganda that I've heard from Trump is just like, I've done the most in for national parks, the most. <laughs> yeah, he says that about everything. But that's yeah. not true. Yeah, everything. That's so not true. He has like, I've, I've proved it, but oh, okay. nobody else has done anything. Now, wait, what is he saying? He, is apparently, Trump was saying like I've, I've, uh, I've made more uh, national public parks than any president. Like, oh, I don't know if he no, I don't, that, that can't be true. Right. Okay. Again, it's. I think it is Obama that did actually. Okay. Like right when he left, he just 
made a bunch of land public. Sick. Democrats Sick. are basically known more for public, uh, public yeah. spaces than the Republicans. But, but I, I don't know if that's true. Nixon, though. Nixon came up with the Environmental Protection Agency. Really? Yeah. I don't like they that. Make was me feel a, good. But that was that was the, the, it wasn't a it wasn't a uh, a partisan <laughs> thing at the time. In fact, Republicans were more into the idea of pollution control. At yeah, the time, yeah, like no they one, it wasn't a parks big, for hunting. Yeah. yeah, that's and nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. The hunters know how to. Uh, Are we conserve. supposed to go? I feel we're like out of time. Yeah, we're we're out of time. Be, time. Do, yeah, did we get a poll on? I think they just like Obama. <laughs> And it what should I get for my tank? No one answered seriously. <laughs> Everyone just kept being like, yeah, 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 put a great one in there. Yeah. <laughs> Trolling you because you like fish. I reckon fresh. Let's be honest, fresh. dude. Let's just do in fresh. three months, the fucking, it's going to be a nightmare. You don't yeah. have time to and fucking. who's going to maintain We have to play tank. VR. We haven't got time to fucking change nitrogen. Oh, actually, okay. Tank. Just How before we go, guys, we do do that salt? poll. What is a fun VR game? I'm playing it right now. What have we got? Yeah. good. At, Give yeah. us the best VR game there is. Is that game where you're like a robot in a rainforest fun? Sounds like fun to me. I like it. Let's see Does if we get What have they got? Dude, most people aren't like Oscars, rich enough to have VR. Rainbow shit. Trout. <laughs> Lead lights. Tell us about the uh, games, dude. We all know this shit. Hey, <laughs> someone's saying just put Ali's. What I can only assume is dick in there. What's VR chat? Nah, we're not doing VR chat. Oh, that's a thing, is it? I bet you Matt suggested that. Nah, someone else did. Super mm, hot VR. That's the game that we play. Super hot. Uh, super hot. We have that. Yeah, we've already got. We super were playing. Is there that. anything else that's better or on par with super hot? So Everyone's just saying super hot. Um, Rock Simulator, is that real? Squadron, Gorn, Resident Evil 7. Okay, is Resident Evil 7 good? Because we're doing that. Half-Life, but you've done Half-Life. Yeah. No, so good. Uh, Dude, let's do Resident Evil 7. I loved playing Resident Evil 2. It was so good. Leon. Shout out. You know what they should put on VR, which would be bitching? Time Crisis. Yeah, that would be sick. That basically was VR with the yeah. except you're not because it even it even blocked out the it was kind of like the OG VR. Yeah, in fact, let's just not do the uplay podcast. Let's just go to times. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to twist my arm. Like, Fuck. It's worth the you guys not being able to afford your rent this week. Star <laughs> Star Wars. All right. Well, let's 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 say our goodbyes. Thank yeah. you for Bruce joining Hart. us tonight. We're and, not getting uh, Skyrim. No, we don't have time. No, no, we're doing that. We're uh, getting Resident Evil. I didn't know that that was an option. Thank you for we're informing getting, me about this. We're getting Resident Evil. Come on. We yeah, have- yeah, all right. We'll go Resident yes. Evil. Yes. All right. Uh, see you guys Light next week. Can't. And uh, for the patrons, we'll join you for the up late. And if you're not a patron yet, we would really appreciate that. It really helps. And you know what else? I, I know that I pay you guys out a lot, but I love you guys. Yeah, you guys actually- so, have- I really like this podcast. It's so great. do I. It's like my therapy now. It's actually so nice. And like, yeah, you guys really- Basically, let us be able to do. We basically we can only do this because of you. It's true. So, like, thank you so much. And if you're not a Patreon, do you want us to love you or not? I mean, come on, fuck, get on there. We yeah, were only you, talking to the patrons. You get added, <laughs> Twitch, screw Twitch. You get added benefits. You only patrons are able to call in, and you you can tell that we do a lot of call ins now. Yeah, we're doing um, that. You get a, a extra episode of the up late. So I'm saucy. Get to hear material. how many rim jobs Ali got that week. A lot of, and it's still saucy material that you won't hear anywhere. It really is saucy though. Last week it was just like there's a lot of these moments like oh. Jesus God! Oh yeah. no! Oh God! Dude, one of the comments. Get that here. Yeah, but that was pretty much just like for this stuff. You remember Jabber from Channel V? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did he really have to say that? That should be too far, isn't the it? The best comment on the last uplate was, and I won't tell. <laughs> it was uh, Ali. Just eat wheat bix. <laughs> There's a hint. <laughs> hey, a little hint for you. Yeah. Uh, Use your imagination. Fish hooks. Let's just say see you next week. I cried in the shower. All right, see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>